Uh, so in this video we're looking at latitude and longitude. Uh, there's two things that we're going to learn how to do in this video. One, we're going to be able to look at a uh, place, Iceland or Norway or Finland or Russia, and we're going to be able to say what its uh, latitude and longitude is. The other thing we're going to do is go in reverse. We're going to find out what a latitude and longitude is and find out what's there. So let's say someone says uh, 30 degrees north, 60 degrees east. You should be able to find that on the map. Okay, so before we do that, though, I thought maybe we should take a look at it just so you can see what's going on on a on a globe, I guess. Um, yeah, where's our where's our globe? Okay, so here's our globe. Now you can see here. Here's our equator. Now that's zero degrees, zero degrees north or zero degrees south. There's our equator. Now remember that uh, the English were really the ones who figured out this whole latitude and longitude thing. So they decided to make, I guess, England the, the centre of it all. Which means here's England up here. Which means that England is zero degrees east or west. So if I pick this point here, we're at approximately zero degrees north. Uh, it says 12 there, but that's only because I can't get it exactly on the zero. And uh, 12 minutes east, it should be zero degrees and zero minutes east. But again, it's hard to get it exact. So this is really your starting point. And then as you move around the map, you can see various things are at different places. I might just move over to Australia. Let's go to Brisbane. Brisbane's about here. You can see that Brisbane is 25 degrees south, approximately, and 150 degrees east, approximately. Okay, so that's enough with that. Uh, now, when you guys do this, you'll probably end up with a flat map like this one. So, uh, let's try a couple of questions. It says, identify the major cities closest to each of the following locations. 30 degrees south, south, 30 degrees east. Uh, let's try it out. Now, your first step here should always be to go to this point on the map. Uh, very close, oh, well, close to Africa. Uh, you can see Kenya's over here and Mali's over here. I think this country here is called um, Liberia, maybe. Not very good at geography. Anyway, this is your starting point. It'll look different on different maps, but the important part to realize it is that it's zero degrees north. That is, it's, it's along the equator. This is our equator. And it's at zero degrees east or west. You can see that passes through the UK. That's Greenwich right there. Passes through the UK. And here we are at zero, zero. Zero degrees north, zero degrees east. Now, the question asked us to go... 30 degrees south, south, 30 degrees east. So let's try that. Looking at our map. Here's 00, 0 30 degrees south, 30 degrees east. We're very, very close to Johannesburg. Okay, so South Africa. Next one. What about 30 degrees north, 120 degrees east? That's a bit more traveling. Now again, Start from zero, zero, 30 degrees north, 120 degrees east. Looks like it's going to take us to Shanghai. So there we have it. Now again, if you start from here and you move in the directions that it asks you to, you're going to find that pretty simple. This last one here, 45 degrees north, 75 degrees west. Now this is an interesting one. Let's try it out. Now, first of all, we're going to go up 45 degrees. Now, you can see we've got a 30 line there and a 60 line there. So the 45 is here. And then it says we need to go 75 degrees west. Now, you can see that 75 degrees west is going to take us, if I go west, that's 30 degrees west. Now, if I keep going, it pops out, uh, I fall off the map. But as you know, the Earth is a sphere, so I'm going to pop back out over here on this side. 
that's 30 degrees west. They sort of double up on either side. 60 degrees west, that's 90 degrees west. So if I back off a bit, there's 75 degrees west. And there is Montreal. So if I go 45 degrees north and then around here, 75 degrees west, I'm at Montreal. Okay, um, now the second thing that you'll do, and this one's slightly harder, is looking at places, Singapore, Perth, Los Angeles, and saying what their approximate coordinates are. Now the hardest thing is probably going to be finding these places. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll struggle with your geography. You can see here Singapore, first of all. Now, do I need to go, so you have to do this in stages. First stage, do I have to go north or south? Well, it looks like Singapore is pretty much on the equator. I only have to go north a little bit. So let's say I went north five degrees. Now the other thing we need to do, and I need to use, get my map showing everything. The other thing we need to do is decide whether we're going to go east or west. Now we look over here, we can see these lines. Look up that line, that's 90 degrees east. This line's 120 degrees east. So Singapore is somewhere between 90 and 120 degrees east. It looks like it's about, if I draw a line, well, let's say about 105. So, finishing this off, it's 5 degrees north and 105 degrees east. It's important that you guys can, uh, can go through that process of finding a country and then writing in what its coordinates are. Next up, Perth. Okay, you can see Perth here. Now, first of all, you can see that Perth is south of the equator, so we have to go down south. And it's in line with the 30 degrees. So Perth is 30 degrees south. And then we can see that Perth is in line with the, about this line here. That's 120. Now you can see it's a bit further over than Singapore was. So it must be like 110, 115. I'm going to say 115. So Perth is 30 degrees south, 115 degrees east. Now our last one, LA. Okay, Los Angeles. Here we have Los Angeles. Now you can see that that's in the northern part of the globe, and it looks like it's at about 30 degrees, a little more, so let's say 35 degrees north. Now these are only approximations, you can look this up on the internet if you want to know the exact answer. 35 degrees north, and if we look up along this line, 120 degrees west here. Now you can see it's a little bit to the right of that line, but you need to be careful because this is 90 degrees west, this is 120 degrees west, which means that this must be 115. Okay, so LA is 35 degrees north, 115 degrees west. Okay, so two things we've done today. We've um, used latitude and longitude to find out what city is there, and then we've done the reverse. If you know where the city is, find out its latitude and its longitude. Make sure you always write the north or the south before you say the east or the west. So you always go up and down before you go left and right. Okay, that's um, latitude and longitude and how to use it.